a set of leg irons, a human collar, and a pair of Rembrandt portraits of a wealthy Dutch couple. Just a few of the objects on show at the Rijksmuseum. The new exhibition highlights the often overlooked relationship between slavery and Dutch history. While slave plantations in the US and former British colonies in the Caribbean are well documented, little is known about their Dutch counterparts scattered across Suriname, Brazil, Asia and South Africa. The Rijksmuseum Museum has decided that it wants to present the history of uh, all of the Netherlands, a completer history than we've presented before. And we think that the um, colonial past is an important element in our national history. So it was timely, as it was not done before, to present an exhibition on slavery. Entitled Slavery, the exhibition includes objects from the museum's own collection and those from other institutions some of which have never been publicly displayed before. Curators have included personal stories of some of the slaves and their owners. One man, known only as Wally, was a slave on a plantation in Suriname. He took part in a revolt in 1707 and was burned alive. His story is narrated by someone with a connection to that plantation. In this case, Dutch former world champion kickboxer Remy Bonyaski, whose ancestors are believed to have escaped that same plantation. So we wanted to present it in an um, 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 empathetic way. We want people to be able to relate to that history and people to see that this is national history, not just for a small group, but for every one of us. The Rijksmuseum itself is also confronting the role of slavery in the art that it houses, adding additional information to 80 objects in its permanent collection. The Netherlands has never formally apologised for its role in the slave trade, but in the wake of last year's Black Lives Matter protests, Prime Minister Mark Rutte conceded racism is a huge problem in the country. A problem some say is best illustrated by ongoing campaigns to ban Black Pete or Zwarte Piet, a character from Dutch folklore. Every year during a pre-Christmas festival, hundreds of people across the Netherlands dress up in blackface and Afro wigs to commemorate him as Santa's little helper. And while defenders of the practice say it's part of Dutch culture and is popular with children, critics say it's a form of racial stereotyping. It's more than Swat Pete. It's about power, you know. And who gets to decide who is Dutch or not? Who gets to decide whether we're going to uphold a racist tradition or not? And who gets to decide what is racism or not? So we are talking about identity also. We are talking about um, whatever um, slavery has manifested into our souls as today, how we behave towards one another. The Netherlands may have a long way to go to fully reckon with its colonial past and heal divisions, and perhaps there's never been a better time to do that than now. Adam Amunu, TRT World.